So you saw the children of uh, Mitchellbrook Primary School and I asked you why Yoni's wife did not come to meet him when he uh, got out of that mine. Oh. What, what do you think? Well, we think... We, we don't really know, but we think, is he having an affair? Yeah, we thought maybe that it was revealed as an affair. Although you thought maybe she went to the wrong mine as well. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't know, you don't tell the lovely people that, do you? <laughs> <laughs> but I remember watching this, yeah, and did you watch it? It was quite boring, cos they were down there for ages, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> and I was wondering whether they could have put, like, a little Love Island spin on it and sent, like, halfway through, sent a fit miner in. <laughs> to spice it up a bit, you know. It's, it's, a, well, it's a very good idea. And the next time we have a mining disaster, <laughs> we'll definitely get, get you involved. Thank you. <laughs> Claudia, what did you put for this? Well, we, I didn't know. I thought it was that she'd been having an affair. Like, I, I seem to remember there was a story where a wife and a mit mistress turned up and met each other, and that's how they discovered oh, the affair. Oh, is they? that what it is? Yeah, I think yeah, so. And then, and then, basically, he was scuppered because he sent his washing up. They all sent their washing up to be done by their wives. That's it. And, and then his wife went, I'm not doing your washing and I'm not going to give it to your mistress to do, <laughs> so he had to beg the other miners to borrow clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, well, so while they were trapped in there, they were getting their cleaning done? Yeah. They were sending the wash... Why didn't they just go out the fucking hole that the washing was done? <laughs> <laughs> The hole was only five inches wide. Oh, uh, that'll do it. Now, what did you put for this, Stacey? Oh, well, we went with, we're tired of his lies. Well, we're not, the wife was. <laughs> we thought maybe she, she just thought he was making an excuse. Ah, oh, 39 days in a mind, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like an excuse. Or uh, she was probably busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a busy mum. Yeah. If Joe said, I'm trapped down a mine, will you come and meet me when I get out? I'd say, no, don't be ridiculous, I'll see you at home. Yeah. <laughs> you don't pick them up from the airport, right, after a couple of years? Exactly. Can't yeah, be. I'm landing at 5am. OK, yeah. good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> so you, when you get back... me up when you come in. <laughs> <laughs> and bring me a Toblerone, you dick. Yeah. <laughs> no points, points, points. Um, OK, That's I asked you what natural phenomenon disrupted plans for everyone, including Miley Cyrus, John Cleese and David Attenborough. Yes. The we, yes. We all know the, the Icelandic volcano. I'm yeah. going to need the name of the volcano. Oh, oh, oh no, no, you got a really no, long no, one. It's that really not. Not. Well, I'll tell you what, if you, could just, if you could pronounce it, you get a point. I'll put it up on the screen, okay. you just pronounce it and you get a point. Okay. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> just pronounce it, it's very easy. Is oh, it is lasagna? It? <laughs> How do you think it should be pronounced, Jonathan? Eya faya yokul. Let's hear it. Eya faya yokul. Yes. Oh, I mean, come on. He got it. He got it. Bonus points. Got it. Oh, thank you. Got bonus points. Oh, okay. He's got to get a bonus point for that. It was remarkable. Yeah. Um, okay. Lastly, I asked you what uh, the Farageism PFL stood for. I'm going to go straight to Nish on this because you're a big fan of him. I have a suspicion it was pint for lunch. Um, now, and you're very close with that, but you're not right. Uh, oh, Alan, Joe. Oh. We're pepper army face lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you've gone for, uh, Stacey? Well, I think I remember reading somewhere that his team said that he, he went out and he said he had to have a proper fucking lunch, is what he said. <gasps> that is exactly uh... the right answer, which he described as being three or four bottles of wine once a week, a proper fucking lunch. Oh, my God. Oh, you, would, wow. you would think, though, with that much wine at lunch, that maybe would affect your decision-making abilities. <laughs> <laughs> so, at the end of the first round, let's take a look at the scores. Uh, Jonathan and Stacey have five. Claudia and Nish have four. Alan and Joe have four. Oh, yeah. Look at you. There we go. Okay.